Don't forget the salt! Hello! Welcome officially to the land of Breath of the Wild in real life. It is, of course, Halloween season. I think on the day that this stream gets turned into a video, it's going to be Halloween. So let's make some Halloween-y things. We have three pumpkin meals to make back to back to back because I wanted this cooking stream to last longer than an hour. And that is the plan. We're gonna start off making our way from the smallest pumpkin up to the biggest today. This is gonna be the big boy meal that is the headliner of this whole stream. So did you know you can get tiny pumpkins? I didn't know this. Either way, we are turning this into our very first Breath of the Wild recipe. I hope it's there. The veggie rice. This is made in Breath of the Wild very, very simply. You just need to get some vegetable. It doesn't even have to be a pumpkin. And you combine it with Hylian rice. Basically what this is, it's just a rice ball, which we're now integrating with pumpkin. I don't think it's the normal thing you do with rice balls, but this, this should be easy. There is two elements to this from what I remember. You cook the rice. Not only are we going to make these veggie rices, but we're actually gonna make them look a little bit different because the design of the Breath of the Wild one doesn't look all that interesting. It's a generic veggie rice. But what we're gonna do uh, is we've also got some seaweed and we've also got some celery Ugh. to combine to make a bit more of a themed Halloween-y thing. We're going to make a pumpkin shaped rice ball out of this pumpkin and some few other things. We also need, I believe, ketchup. So let's get on to that. The first step is grating pumpkin. I've never actually cooked anything with pumpkin in it before, but let's just start by cooking, grating some damn pumpkin. Oh God, this is a nightmare already. But let's just prep, just do some prep work. Is this good for your ASMR? I've rated a million things in the past, but apparently this is giving me issues a little bit. There you go. That looks nice, right? Perfect. Right, now we're ready to now grate. Now can continue. Smash cut, oh no. Do you, we're, we're ready to grate now. You want some context for how we've gotten to here? Okay. There is our new grated pumpkin. This poor thing's been uh, destroyed. Let us then make us some rice. I could get an actual measurement or I'll just wing it. I remember we bought this specifically at a Japanese shop rather than our local supermarket. And they said, uh, the only downside with this type of rice, this special rice is you gotta be extra careful how much water you put in it. Uh, how bad can that measurement have been? Is this on? Yes, okay, it is on. That's good. So according to this, we just need to cook the rice and then we mix it in with the cooked rice later. No, that's gonna be like raw pumpkin. I don't like that. Oh. It just, that sounds very cold. We'll just, how bad can it be if we add it now? Right, like, what would what happen? Would it be that bad? And then we're gonna add some ketchup to all of this. How much? Uh, there we go, for the blood of the people I've murdered in this art class. Look at this rice. Orangey, red, maybe? I'm colorblind, I can't tell. I have no idea, based on sight, if rice is good enough. I usually just sort of overboil it until I'm happy. Yeah, that's a... Mm, mm. That's 100% not done. Oh, This meal was supposed to be the 15 minute meal. Like I did not think we were gonna spend very long on the tiny little potato here. Potato. I'm having an, am I having a strong? <sighs> right, something else I'll juggle on the side over here. Cling film, my mortal enemy. Even though cling film is like immortal, is, is it? I feel like it is, like plastic or something, but we'll see. We've got to try and use this to m carve some things. I don't have high hopes for myself. 
All right, that's a success as far as I'm concerned, so far. So far. All right, taste test number two. Will I destroy my teeth this time? Let's find out. Ah, I'm gonna burn my finger is what I'm gonna do. This thing's rock solid, still. I want to have a burner thing. Maybe I just lose track of time when I've cooked things in the past, but I feel like they don't, they cook pretty quickly. Rice, water, boil. Success. Just boil. If it's not clear already, I wouldn't survive in a post-apocalyptic world. If I was in Hyrule, I'd be dead day three. This just looks like a saucepan of beans. I am just spilling it everywhere now. Oh. <laughs> we need a gentle touch. You need to stop splashing it across the entire hop. I'm learning. Oh, what? 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 Have I just created like a witch's cauldron? I've never, like, that's, that's some projectile to it. I feel like it's going to explode. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It's breathing. We're going in for taste test number three. I've got some teeth left after the bricks that were those rice pellets. Hmm. Little crunchy, but that's edible rice now. That's good. We're getting, eventually, we are getting there. Let's just say that's done. Let's sieve out the rest. Well, that's a good sign. Well, some of it just uh, refuses to leave. I guess that would happen. Um, all right, fantastic. This is incredibly hot. Can I refri should I refrigerate this? How do I? Hmm. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll, you know. leave that there for a moment. Might give, give things a moment to cool down because I'm gonna burn my hands at this rate. But hey, we made some rice. It's taken us an hour and a half, but we're here. We're here. We've made it. How's about we just start with the other, the next recipe? That'll, that'll refrigerate for a while. We can do some like set up in a bit, you know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So let's just move on to our second ever Breath of the Wild ingredient. These we'll get to one day. The second thing on our list is the only pumpkin in line with its recipe. It is pumpkin stew, an official recipe that is from the Breath of the Wild. It's not just some random vegetable like we've attempted with this old thing. So instead, the way it works in the game is you need to get a bunch of things. You need four ingredients in Breath of the Wild. You need, obviously, a pumpkin, a fortified pumpkin. You need tabanthan wheat, which we have, but it is a translation, I believe, for flour. So that is what we are going to start with. Along with that, we need some milk. He needs some milk! And then the other thing you need is goat's butter, which I realize we didn't actually buy, but we have general butter. It should be fine. The way it works is we need to make ourselves a roux with these three ingredients. Then we add in some chopped pieces of pumpkin and then magically it melds together. This is the recipe I don't know how to do. I don't know how to make a roux. I don't know how to make the pumpkin fester in the roux. And I don't know how to make it mimic the orangey tang that is the design. Because also if you look at the design, it's just got chops of pumpkin in it. So I want to represent that. I want to have two big pieces, a bunch of little pieces, all mixed in this nice big gooey, rooey thing. So to do that, we're going to need to make a mess, as if we haven't already beforehand. We need to chop up this medium-sized pumpkin into these kind of pieces. I don't know how to do that. I have carved out a pumpkin once. I don't know what happens if you just chop through it. We're just gonna go into this blind. Great. How, like, should I just like chop? Do I wanna, hmm, we're going for it. I'm not gonna lose a limb at least, that's nice. I think, we'll find out. See, as I understand it, okay. I, I, I'm not looking forward to the hollow part in the middle, but I'll take the science for now. 
God, this is a workout, isn't it? My God. And this is a good knife, I think. I... Right, this is the big boy chunk. Don't lose a limb, please. That's all I ask. If I cut this straight, I feel like this one's like really diagonal or something. I, it doesn't look straight right now. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, we've now got sliced pumpkin. That is something. We now want to chop these into smaller pieces, I would imagine, these two or these four. Um, and then this guy gets chopped more for bigger chunks. Ah, very nice, very nice. That was very satisfying. Ah, ah. Juggling too much at once. Two whole things. Okay, right. That's quite nice, I think. That's a nice severed potato pumpkin. Let us chop this into smaller chunks. Uh, just smallish chunks. Okay. Oh, actually, that's. I thought this would be way harder. This here. I like our big chunks we'll have in the middle of this. Uh, they might be too big in the end. <laughs> so this is the saucepan we have to make the roux with everything. And then we've got to chunk, chuck in pumpkin pieces on top because we need to get most of these pumpkin pieces in here. We're gonna make some of these smaller, I think. We'll get a dedicated selection and go from there. Okay. Is that too much? Eh, might be fine. But then I wanted to add big pieces. Where do they go? Um, big piece, big piece. Will a roux even fit with all that? No. Let's have half the big pieces. There you go. Passable. That is passable. Just about. Maybe. I don't know. We'll give that a go. As for the rest of this pumpkin, um, I guess, rest in peace. Really? That's, that's all I can say about that. 500 mils of milk. How much does that look like? That's a lot of milk. That should, that should, that should be fine. Hello, scales. This is zero weight. Yes. We then need a chunk of butt. That's 16. Oh my God, that's a lot of butter. 47, 52. That'll do. All right, cool. That's the butter sorted. 16, 19, 22. That's more than 50. All right, that'll, that'll do, that'll do. We've made a mess already. Let's not make any more. I tried to be as uh, clean as I could. All right, we have some, some functionality. I almost just spilled the milk everywhere, but we're fine, we should be fine, we're fine. Let us mix this together cold first, because it doesn't say anything else, and then we'll stir it a bit, add up the heat, add the, the thing to slowly cook up. Okay. Okay. There you go. The leftover butter is just the bit that's more than 50. Mix it together. And then, uh, oops, highest heat. It said make it hot so that it's less lumpy. I did none of that. Ooh. Tell you what, it smells nice. It smells like butter. It's very liquidy, which it makes sense because it's a lot of milk. I'm tempted to add more flour to make it less. I don't know if that's what I want. Maybe it's not. But the pumpkins. Never mind. I mean, maybe it's just bubbling, but it looks like it's like thickening out. It's becoming a nice stew. Uh, let's not have that so much, please. Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? So, like, can you overcook a stew? Because I'm tempted to chuck a lid on it and let it simmer for like the rest of the session. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we haven't been able to use most of this pumpkin because there's just so damn much of it. Surprise, surprise. But also, uh, it's looking pretty good, this stew. Um, yeah, like, yeah, pretty thick. Uh, pretty creamy. 
I don't know how long you're supposed to do this for. I don't think they really specify, or if they did, I didn't read it. What do you think? How's that? Let it simmer for a, uh, until it's soft. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Um, in that case, we now have huh, that concluded. The veggie rice is waiting in the fridge to cool down. The stew is simmering for all of time. If it explodes and boils, I'll at least hear the simmer and the fire alarm. So, let's conclude with the headline event of this stream. The one I am most looking forward to, the one that seems like the most fun, I would assume. We'll find out. So, what we're gonna do is play with this big boy. Would you like to get ready to start with Pumpkins. this? Pumpkins! Yes, all right. So we got the biggest pumpkin for Big last. Boy. This is to become the third recipe above your head, directly above your head. Wow, look at that. Um, this, this one? Yeah, that one right wow. there. That is the meat stuffed pumpkin. It is made in Breath of the Wild by combining any type of meat and a pumpkin. A very simple recipe, but it's like the biggest final outcome. We've added a few things in our recipe. So the very first thing we need to do is chop off the top and gush out the innards. Okay, what do you want me to do first, um, right. chef? You get the big knife, chop off the top at the correctest angle so we can make a gushable, open Like straight bowl. through then, like that? Yes, or all the way along. I think uh, it's straight. all along. Oh Straight God, in. you're asking me to do the big job. Yes, yes I am. Okay, we have contact, it's gone through. Okay, we're nearly all the way around. Well, hey. it's gonna be a very small inner ring at the moment, but we'll, we'll make an adjustment. High. How uh, how do you want to do this? As, does that work from the beginning? Do you want beginning? me to try it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of those tools, I'll be honest. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, though it looks good, like, I would adjust. <laughs> But I already did that with the last uh, pumpkin. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Nobody saw that. Oh, look at that though. Look at that. Oh. Satisfying. Right. We now need to feel this. Feel? I've done that. Successful. It has been felt. Uh, we need felt. to feel felt. this. You got it now? Yeah. So, we are in the game. It would just be meat plus this, um, but it's clearly a bit more of a concoction, so we are adding more ingredients to the mix. Ooh. Here is a 5% fat kilogram of beef mince, bam! Wow! Fill up this thing with all of its beefly contents. We've also got some peppers of three different variety. We may use two, we may use three, probably three. There's not very big bell peppers. And then the final thing is we've got three onions. We will probably only use two because onions are very pungent. Um, but either way, it's onions, peppers, beef. And then on top of that as well is the final thing. Is the final thing. It is garlic cloves. Do you want, are you invested on doing the bell peppers or do you want me to do those? I don't mind. Well, I haven't done any cooking yet, so... That's true. Do you want to chop? I can chop. There you go. I've chopped one for you. Thank you. you right. Let's grab those onions and put them in a bowl. In a boom. Oh, God. I want to get back in there. Um, right. Almost done. Half of it's cut. Mm, kind of. Let's make more. Right. Um, that is now all that prepped. We can just have that. Thank you. Can I have one? No. <laughs> that is those sorted. Mm -hmm. We're ready for the next step. Officially frying it all. Yay! Yeah. So, I think the next bit, I'm just going to try and explain. We're going to cook this with that inside. Then we're going to put it all into here. So, we'll see how it goes. Wow, right. that is a lot, isn't it? That's massive. But grand. I like that. It's a lot. lot. Yeah. Big fan. That's, that's my job done now. We're just carving the pumpkin, I'm done. Yeah. Never for me. I'm done. I'm good at chopping vegetables, because that was always my old task. It's like, um, oh, leave the fire alone, Daryl. Chop the vegetables. So am I just shoving the other bits in uh, as well? Yeah, add in the onions and add in the peppers. Probably onions first. Onions first? Yeah. Cool. Um, shall we add peppers? Yes. We just gotta grab and shove. Grab. Wah! Excuse my Mario impression for a second there. Okay, well, 
It's frying. You can trust me. It is frying. So. Yeah. Um, at this point, we fry it up until it gets nice and soft and cooked together. Righty o, let's do some prepping. We fried up a kilogram of beef mince, minced beef, and then also chopped onions, diced peppers. We were supposed to add cumin to this, and hot and salt and pepper. We'll mix it in now. Yeah, I completely forgot about the salt and pepper. We also add this in as well. Yeah, go for it. Um, and we have fajita spice to add in. That's a lot, that's a lot of spices. Yeah. Oh man, this pumpkin's already heavy. It fits, by the way. Like, oh, lovely. Here is the concoction inside the pumpkin right now. Should I put some of this in and mix it in? Yeah. I don't know how much to add. The Italian herb. Yeah, We're Let's gonna go add fajita mix from Old El Paso. Oh, that's not so much better. There well. you go. Whoa. How long do we have to cook this for? This goes in the oven now for 30 minutes. 13 or 13? 30. 30. 30. 30. Zero. Well then, now that we've done the whole innards of everything, we've got the oven preheated. Let us conclude this final meal. There we go. I know these puzzles. The oven has been customized specifically to fit this pumpkin in it. We'll see how it goes. Nice. Oh. Okay, we now have half an hour of waiting time. So, you and I, Me. and Kezichi, and us, all of us together, thankfully, we have some other things we've cooked throughout the day. Oh, yeah. There is something we left in the corner to just fester in the cold because it scared us too much. Let's bring that out again. This, oh, I see. this is what remains of the first thing we cooked. This is meant to be the rice balls with a little bit of pumpkin. Pumpkin rice balls. We couldn't touch them before because they were burning. Now they are solid cold. This is our masterpiece. This is less of our masterpiece because it doesn't... Do you want me to scoop it out? No, we don't, we don't need this pet. We don't need it. We don't talk about this. No, 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 no. Um, but though actually, now that I can just touch it, we can just manually put it into a bowl. So then with that, we also got ourselves some seaweed. Now, the uh, recipe we were following actually suggested cutting them into triangles and sticking them on the front to become a pumpkin face. All right, let's, let's split it in half. Yeah. Yeah. Should I just cut it with half. scissors or? There's two of them there. There are two, which I can use for two eyes. Tactical. Unintentional, but tactical. And then the rest are all squares that we can chop out. So I'll just, uh... Hmm. 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 The squares might have been a little bit too big, considering they're supposed to be teeth of this mouth that I just moulded. But, you know, uh, uh, how does this even... I've, d I've done it all sorts of... Well, he's, he's a very chill pumpkin dude now. He was supposed to have angry eyes, but now he's just got... He looks like he's dopey eyes. Like there we in go. In the best kind of way. There we go. He's sorted now. Are we trying them now? Okay. Let's try them now. I was going to do it like with the stew and the pumpkin at the same time, oh, like, all okay. back to back to back. Oh no, we haven't finished yet. What have we got celery. Oh, of course. We have celery that's supposed to be the stems. Gigantic stems, I would say. Very it looks big like. Stem. <laughs> there you go. A very um, stubby little stem. But I don't want a lot of celery. I don't like celery. I don't need... There we are. <laughs> wow. There we go. Lovely. At this point, I'm now going to heat up the stew. And then we'll chow down on some of that. Right. I'll eat them. We have had some of our lovely pumpkin veggie rice. That. Now we have stew. Nice and simmered and ready. Cooked and soft. Beautiful. With big old pump, with some massive pumpkin pieces, as is the imagery from the game. Everything is about as ready as it can be. So after four and a half hours of streaming, oh let us finally see the end result of our three inspired recipes, yeah? Forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. 
We began with the smallest pumpkin of the bunch, the Munchkin Pumpkin, as it's called, so turned cool. into what is known in Breath of the Wild as the veggie rice. Just any vegetable plus Hylian rice. And these are the two that we came out with. Do you want to take a bite of yours and I'll take a bite of mine at the same time? Sure. I'm going to take the celery out though. Alright, I'm going to go with the celery. Okay, three, <laughs> two, two, one. What are your thoughts? The celery actually adds quite a lot to it. Really? As much as that's not even part of the recipe. Mm. The wateriness mixes nicely with the rice. Don't taste a lot of pumpkin. Don't taste a lot of ketchup. I already could have added more. I already thought I underdid it when I did it last time spewing around, but actually, I thought it was quite nice in the end. I wish for more taste. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just, I think I wish for more taste. Mm. Yeah, it is quite untasted. I think the tomato ketchup-ness of it mm -hmm. may not really add to it. Yeah, it was more for the coloring, that was. Yeah. So up next is the pumpkin stew. No longer just a random veggie added with rice like last time. This is a specific Breath of the Wild recipe that requires specifically pumpkin. And I simmered it for like two years and now it should be nice and soft, maybe poisonous. Shall we find out? There we go, there's our, there's our pieces ready for all to see. Let's consume pumpkin roux. Pumpkin stew from Breath of the Wild. That's a nice, creamy, there's no cream in, there's no cheese in this, but it's a nice cheesy little sauce. I, th I think all that it needs, it was a bit more like salt. Ah, uh, yeah, I did not add salt. Yeah, and some salt would have been good for this. That's really, really nice. I might have that as like a dessert for the end of the night. If you had to rate the veggie rice, how would you plate it as? Um, Out of 10. I think it was <laughs> all right. It wasn't, it, I didn't like, sorry, I didn't hate it. Mm. Um, I would give it a, a a four. A four out of ten? Four out of ten. Mm -hmm. Just because, again, you've missed out on the right. Uh, yes. Like the salt on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. If I could go back in time and send myself a message. Salt! Don't, yeah, don't forget the salt! I agree. I think that is a solid four out of ten. Maybe five, because I'm very neutral. And I like it more. I have British. I have bad taste. Stew. What would you say is your rating of the stew? A six. A six. A four, uh, five or six. All right, cool. I will give it a seven out of 10. I really like it. I am really easily nice. pleased, yeah. Considering I can eat cold spaghetti and call it a nine out of 10. Um, an easy man to please. We cooked some veggie rice, we cooked some pumpkin stew, and we've just finished this. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's nice. Let's see our lovely meat stuffed Whoa, thing. Can you smell that? Oh, yes! Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh. All right. Okay, Count down to it. Three, Three two, two, one. Mmm. Mmm. I will probably make this, or the stew, or both, every Halloween now. That is our concluding finale for this stream. We came in with three recipes in mind, and very little experience with any of the three types. And we had a good, successful day. We didn't cause a fire, and I think that's a plus. We were close with, this we were close with a fire with that one. And I, I also burnt the hob quite badly with the second. But otherwise, you know, we survived. So I think at the end of the day, victories all round, I think. I imagine I will do more cooking streams. They are fun. Let us know in the comments if you've made it all the way this far. What kind of things you'd like to see next? We've done one or three video game foods but there's also all sorts of movies and all sorts of other video games to make. Either way, I do hope you enjoyed. I'm definitely going to enjoy this and have enjoyed the last five hours. For now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care and I'll see you in a bit. I never say that on Daz Reviews 2. It just doesn't come naturally on stream. Wow, so many changes. <laughs>